Hi guys, it's almost time to release the ISOs and what we do is we make a video how to stay rolling, that's done already. So guys on Arclex B and, and XS and Excel, just keep rolling, just keep updating. And when you feel like it, it's okay, this time I'm gonna reinstall, then you take the ArcoNet, the Arco Pro or the Arco Plasma, because that's the biggest change. We went for 45 ISOs down to three, well, that's it three ISOs to maintain and to improve much better. We have Grub, System Deboot and Refined. Otherwise we would test, we'd have to test 135 ISOs. Now we have tested three ISOs and we have 50 installations for it, right? If you really want to test everything, right? Again, 50 installations. So, the biggest change is definitely that 2024 Eastern time, 14 days was spent on creating through three new um, ISOs with the new refined, which took another four days to develop and make sure we revisited Calamaris because yeah, we start basically from scratch again. And this is the look from Grub, and that's the look from System Deboot, and that's the look from Refined. We do ask you to, if you want to stay rolling, to install this one, this one, or this one. If you go and install the Arconet and Pro and Plasma, there's nothing to do. Okay? Only the guys who stay rolling on their XL, XS, D or B ISOs. So when you do, when you're going to reinstall, you'll get this choice. And if you have, if you're new, right? Novice, or noob or beginner, whatever you want to call it. All good words, no pejorative meaning at all in our community. Then Grub would be a good choice, right? Would, you, would, you, would be your best choice. So choose Grub, System Deboot or Refined and off you go install whatever you want to install, okay? So we're gonna transition to a more flexible bootloader configuration and you can read the things. Most important thing is what I've mentioned already, the Pac-Man hooks, right? We have these three packages, each separate bootloader needs to be safe, stable, right? But also flexible. So the Pac-Man hooks need to be in place and then everything uh, will be okay. So that's commented or shared with you in this news video. And yes, we do want to switch, but our advice is choose in the beginning in Calamaris and stick with it. Choose Grub and stay rolling with Grub. But there are three scripts, two Grub, two System Deboot and two Refined, well, two Boot actually, and two Refined, but we tell you better not. Danger zone. There's a big um, disclaimer and and um, yellow text saying, guys, what you're gonna do is hazardous, right? Can be dangerous. The video, if you wanna gonna watch the video, it's super simple. It's like, oh, it all works. It's VirtualBox. There is nothing else than Aconix. There is no Windows 11. There is no Endeavor OS or Garuda or Nix OS or Red Hat nearby it's just master of its own hard disk yes then it works okay but our advice is well stick with what you've chosen in the beginning now sometimes we say to you start with a clean slate i see or we see on forums and telegram some people trying to do all kinds of very difficult constructions and they run into problems, right? One operating system per SSD or hard disk. And that's basically explained in this video, how to start with a clean, uh, start with a clean slate. And that's good for Windows, for Mac and for Linux. Start from scratch and then work your way up. Okay. What to do after a clean install? Uh, probably a question, right? Because it's a new ISO. There are two kernels. Do I keep them? Up to you. It takes a bit longer if you want to make the boot files because you have two kernels. 
And so decisions is entirely up to you and that's explained in here. We have some remove scripts as well. Remove the Broadcom and the real tech that are there. A little script, poof, gone. And change the kernels around all there. So that's explained in this video. Since we've made some major changes, we have also some kind of, well, way to share information with us. Pseudo use is this image that you get, this red and white, which will tell us what ISO are you on, on BIOS or UFI, is there Wayland, Hypeland, Wayfire in, in nearby, uh, etc. So a lot of information that we may ask you to give us. If you want help from us, then we can ask type sudo use in a terminal and give us the image. Since we have now two kernels, Linux, Linux N, Linux LTS and Cache OS, yeah, you might want to switch between kernels. And how do I set kernel A to become the default rather than kernel B? And we have three ways, right? Three boot kernels, uh, bootloaders. So we need to tell you, this is grub, systemd boot, and refine. So chronologically, we had always grub, and then later on systemd boot, and then later on refined. Now it might be that you say, um, it's okay, just wanna get rid of one. So again, we have these remove conkeys, and I thought, a quick summary might help as well. So for what it's worth, of course, because that's up for debate and personal, but there are four kernels. And the only thing that matters is, are you happy with them? That's it, right? Whatever the intentions are from the Linux uh, guys there, but are you happy with them? Is it working on your particular laptop? And on the other laptop, maybe another kernel is better right it is really try try arco pro can be looked at as the arco linux d if you want to go for easy you have a black screen and we've added something extra back to arch is a script that's going to remove even more arc like stuff but gonna leave some critical things like the arc -like mirrors and the arc -like keys and then we've explained in a video to you, create your own scripts. And we have created the Plasma um, variation. And that's all explained in this video. Start with Arco Pro, use the easy, back to Arch, create your own scripts. And then you have your own vision of Plasma that you can gradually uh, improve over the years. Arco Pro is not for the beginner. Not for the beginner. Intermediate advanced users will like it because it's really is bare. You start from scratch and basically I always compare ArcLex and well ArchLex to Lego blocks. Basically you're breaking down your castle or whatever it is that you've made in Lego. Whoop table rasa, everything gone, and then you build it up again. That's the, what we've explained here. Start with Arco Pro, break it all down, and then build it back up. That's Lego. It's your imagination. Sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want with it. Now, this what if resulted, of course, in another what if. What if we start with ArchLex and end up in ArcLex? I try to, over the last six years, I try to convey the message that basically all the Arch Linux based distros out there are just decisions along the way. So what we've done here, we started with the Arch Linux ISO that we've built. We have an application that can build Arch Linux ISOs, did you know? Right? Further down the article, we'll talk about it. So start with our own custom Arch ISO, Arch Linux ISO, and gradually build it all up. Change it into an Arco Plasma, video one, 
video too. To build or, to build or not to build, eh, the message is here. The Arclinx application Glade AAG can build Arconet Pro, Plasma, Arch Linux, Riser, Sierra. So we can build quite a bit of ISOs to start with. And that's basically also mentioned in the Arconex info page, the home page, where we dropped from 45, 46 ways of installing Arch to 16 now, right? All the Bs are gone, Excel, XS, they're all gone, three ISOs. And then we keep counting. There are always, there's several ways to just, well, get started with a free Arch Linux based system. 16 ways now. Okay. So we have um, communicated on social media. We can't build XL, XS, D, and the B ISOs no longer. Instead, build the Net, the Pro, and the Plasma. And of course, videos are accompanied. So the Net, the Pro, and the Plasma shown how to do it. And here's the information. AEG can build it now. Another question that came up and will certainly come up in the future. What is the difference between the Arco Net and the Arco Pro? Pro is more bare. As you can see, 300 megabyte worth of packages are already on the Arco Net. So see it as an in-between. Actually, it's more an excess. So it's, it's, it's small. There is some stuff, but it's somewhere in between. I think between XL and XS. So you install it, then check out, okay, I don't want that, I don't want that. And you run your remove scripts like I do in Arconix Nemesis scripts. And install more because probably you're gonna miss things. Decisions, it's just Lego blocks. Lego blocks out, Lego blocks in. So basically it's more bare. Again, Guys, not for the beginner, right? You get stuck, you'll get frustrated, and then it's no good, you stop. And that's not the point. Use Arconet as the default starter, and then you can grow. And if you think Plasma is your thing, then you have the Arco Plasma to as a starter. Okay, so we had to change a few things. Finally, probably people will say, finally. But now we can, Hyperland and Wayfire remain experimental they are wayland and they are in the drop down in the att so you may encounter issues inherent to wayland it's under development hyperland and wayfire are wayland desktops it's in there it's in the drop down you can install it and if you can install it i have to think about removing it so the articles desktop treasure can now also remove the Hyperlint and Wayfire desktop sway is out of the equation. It's no longer there. Thanks to Neo and all his knowledge of GNOME, I I've made this video about a lot of uh, GNOME extensions. The only thing I have to tell is one, there is a version, a certain version for certain extensions. So, Check, check it out if it's actually compatible with your version of GNOME in the future. And, and two, that sometimes it makes your GNOME not as stable as it should be. These extensions have been created by users and it might be that they will break your GNOME. So, be careful and take just the extensions that all people people are going to download or install or, or comment on that there's that it's great and use those. Okay. This is the video we're making. What is new? How to stay rolling? There was no issue at all, right? No issue at all. The only thing to remember is this Arconix bootloader, grub or system depot that you manually need to install and uh, the rest is all good. We have to remind you that we did a poll years ago 
and we wanted to get rid of the advanced installation because there are so many parameters that we have zero control over zero control and that will break the calamars installer because of pacman telling hey this and that and everything holds so remember if at some point in time the isos stop functioning in the sense of advanced installation breaks because of servers being down keys not okay uh, lots of things that can wrong go wrong with pacman and other variables firewalls country uh, firewalls i mean there's so many things then you use the easy installation offline that will always work i call it the on the beach installation right that's always gonna work and then the reference to the iso if you type iso you see a numbering system down there the number will never be updated or changed it only cho shows us okay he used that particular iso downloaded it burned on the usb and installed it that's all we need to know and then we think okay what did we change afterwards we need that to to go over in our mind between january and may we've changed this and this and this and that we need to do this right it just helps us and that's it i hope you like our changes has been uh, 14 days of hard work but we have now three isos with a lot of options all the options are still there bspw mix monad Basically, you can create your own Arconix um, B extended. Just select i3, BSPWM, Awesome, etc. Right? You can install anything you like anywhere uh, with the, the net uh, and also with the Pro, of course. And Arco Plasma, that's focused, right? That is already the focus is there. Let's go for Wayland, Plasma, and maybe Hyperland, and maybe Wayfire as well. There's an option for that. So enjoy our new release. And if there are any questions, you know where to find us. And we'll put videos online as simple as that. All right. Cheers.